Welcome to the presentation of paper ID 38. Myself, Shibir Ahmad Arif. I have graduated from Port City International University, Chittagong, Bangladesh. The title of our paper is Opinion Mining of Customer Reviews Using Supervised Learning Algorithms. Here is list of the contents. Introduction. Opinion mining aims to find out subjective opinions that are collected from different sources about a specific subject. We can identify positive or negative opinion from textual data through it. It is useful for the producers and the customers to know what common people think about a specific service or product. Different social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Viber are a great source of information that contain unstructured contents as tweets, discussions, and postings. Opinion mining tools allow businesses to understand brand view, reputation management, and new product opinions. There are some challenges in opinion mining. In one situation, an opinion word that is expressed by the people may be positive. In another situation, the same opinion word may be negative. It is one of the challenges in this domain. Literature review. At the beginning of our work, we did a literature review. These are few of the research papers that we went through. The thing that we noticed is that most of the previous researchers uh, used a smaller data set to do research in this domain. Also, we noticed that previous researchers did not consider emoji and emoticons of tweets in the research. In our research, we have replaced emoji and emoticons with meaningful data to do the research in this domain. System architecture. At first, we have collected the data from an authentic source and then we have done the pre-processing and then we have leveled the data and then we have, de we have done the feature extraction and then we have split the data into two parts, train data and test data. We have trained the model using the train data set and using the test data, we have tested the trained model. And finally, we have done the evaluation of the model. Here are some system requirements. We have used Python as our programming languages. And we have used some Python libraries. And then we have used our, our Google Colab as our coding platform. Methodology. Data collection. We have collected the data from Kaggle repository. Our dataset contains 25,000 English tweets about popular cell phone brands like Apple, Samsung, Sony, etc. The data shape, data set shape is 25,000 rows and three columns, which you can see in this figure. We have loaded the data in our coding platform called Google Colab using Pandas. Pre-processing. At first, we have removed the duplicate tweets and then removed the null values and then replaced emojis using emoji translate, emoji and emoji translate package of Python. And then we have, we have created a Python function where in which we have done the flowing. Replace emoticons, convert to lowercase, convert more than two liter expressions to two liters, remove numbers, retweets and hashtags, remove HTML tags, user mention and URL, and remove punctuation and white spaces. Using the function, we have tested our random data. You can see in this figure, before cleaning the data looks like it, and after the pre-processing uh, using the function, Python function, we can see the uh, output here. And then we have used this function to our whole dataset. And you can see after cleaning how the data looks. And then we have done the tokenization. We know that tokenization is the process of breaking the text into some small features called tokens. These tokens may be sentences, may be words, or may be subwords. And then we have replaced the negations with antonyms of the tokenized words. For example, we can see here, not happy will be replaced as unhappy. And then we have removed the stop words. 
we can see after removing the stop words the output is shown here we know that stop words are the english words that contain less meaningful data to the tweet so we have to remove that and then we have done the lemmatization it is the process of bringing the inflectual forms of words to the base form of the word that means for example better the it is the inflectual form of good so lemmatization algorithms makes the better to uh, transform better to good after doing lemmatization that's how we can get the insights the get the view actual context of the tweet more easily so here after before preprocessing you can see a uh, existing data of our data set here how it looks before preprocessing we can see some emojis here hashtags here okay and after preprocessing how the data looks here you can see in this figure and then we have done the we have visualized here the word frequency of our data set and then we have labeled the data during the labeling of the data at first we have we have found the polarity and subjectivity of tweets using python text block text block library we can see the output here after using the text block library we get the polarity and subjectivity of each of the tweets existing in our data set and then we have assigned threshold values of polarity polarity means positive or negative values it ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 while plus 1 denotes positive opinion and minus 1 denotes negative opinion we have assigned threshold values of polarity using uh, creating a python function here we can see in this figure and then we have converted uh, and then we have converted and then using the python function we have uh, use that in our whole data set that's how the polarity values are signed the threshold values of polarity are signed and then we have created another python function you, you can see here in this picture trans opinion this is another python function to convert opinion categories to numerical values and then we can see the output here the opinion and their level you can see here strongly negative is labeled as 0, weakly negative as 1, neutral as 2, weakly positive 3, strongly positive as 4. That's how we have assigned, we have uh, converted the opinion category to respective numerical values using this Python function. And then we have shown the opinion per category in this figure and then we have removed the unnecessary columns you can see in the previous figure and you can see here right only tweet and the other respective levels and then we have done the feature extraction that means vectorization as the machine learning models only understand numerical values so we have to convert all the text data to the numerical values so we have used two techniques number one bag of words and number two tfidf and then we have split the data into two parts training set and testing set of data into 80 is to 20 ratio that's mean 80 percent of the data exists in the training set and the rest of the data exists in the testing set and then we have trained the model and build the model using five supervised cl classifiers they are named as support vector machine, multi level new bias, logistic integration, decision tree and random forest. And then we have tested the model using the unseen testing data. And then we, we also used some random tweets to predict opinion category and try to show how it looks. And we can see that the random tweets could be categorized as opinion, the, uh, the model could find out the opinion category of the random tweets quite well so 
let's discuss the result analysis of our research. You can see here two confusion matrices. Every confusion matrix here is a 5 is to 5, 5 into 5 table, where 5 is the number of categories. You can see here 0 for strongly negative, 1 for weakly negative, 2 for neutral, 3 for weakly positive, and 4 for strongly positive. So let's discuss the model built by SBM. Okay, that confusion matrix here using TF bag of word vectorizer. So 42 data points you can see here. The 42 data points is the true positive value. That means these data points are labeled as 0 and predicted as 0. Correctly classified as 0 by the model. And the, you can see here the main diagonal, other four values of the main diagonal. The sum of the other values of the main diagonal is the true negative values. That means these data points are not labeled as 0 and predicted as other categories by the model. That's why the sum of the other values of the main diagonal is uh, these data points are true negative values. And then first column you can see here false positive values 21 and 5. Uh, 0, 5, 0. That means 26 data points. Except 42, the other values of the first column. These are false positive values. That means these values, these 26 data points were labeled as other categories but predicted as 0 by the model. And the first row, you can see uh, these are false positive values and let's discuss on the false negative values. 17, 14, 1, 0. The other values except 42 of the first row. These are false negative data points. This means these values are labeled as 0. These 32 values are labeled some of the other values of the top row. You can see here for 0, a strongly positive, a strongly negative values. Okay, so these data points are false negative values. This means these data points are labeled as 0 but predicted as other categories by the model. That's how we can we can explain the rest of the confusion matrices. Now let's come to the point of uh, confusion matrix using TF idea. You can see here 34. That means these data points is false positive, and some of the other values of the main diagonal these are false negative, and first row values except 30, 34. The first uh, some of the other values of the first column is a uh, is the false positive values and uh, these four values uh, uh, top four uh, top rows values except 34 uh, some of the other values of the top row is the false negative values that's how we can we have explained the confusion matrices of the uh, of the two vectorizers uh, using the five uh, supervised classifiers ROC curve. You can see here two types of ROC curves here. You can see ROC curve using backward vectorizer and ROC curve using TFID vectorizer. Let's discuss on the model uh, on the ROC curve of uh, of the model built by SPM on both vectorizers. ROC curve that's been receiver operating characteristic curve. Uh, it's uh, the quantity is AUC here. Area defines AUC area in under the curve. Uh, if AUC is equal to 0, that means the model prediction is 100% wrong. If AUC is equal to 1, that means the model prediction is 100% correct. So, in this ROC curve, you can see here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there are some area of the respective classes, right? Or the respective categories. So, uh, 0, you can see ROC curve is a curve where uh, 1 versus rest strategy is followed. That means the curve is drawn. The curve, uh, the this shows the mod how the model has differentiated the categories from other categories. One category is from the rest of the four categories. Okay, so you can see here the maximum value is 0.98 for two cases, two, uh, two and four. That's mean neutral and strongly positive. That's mean the model could differentiate two and category two and four from the other categories uh, by 0.98 area and area. Okay, so uh, and we can see that the rest of the uh, area values is greater than 90. So we can tell that our model could differentiate one category from the rest of the four categories quite well. And the same strategy is followed in this uh, in the ROC, uh, in this ROC curve also. So that's how we can explain. And you can see in this uh, figure also, you can see two points here: sensitivity, that's been true positive rate. And one was a specificity that's mean false positive trait. So ROC curve is a figure of sensitivity versus a specificity. One minus a specificity here. Okay, that's mean true positive trait versus false positive trait. That's how and you can see here in this figure that uh, the model could predict and you can see here the area is greater or equal 90. So we can say that the model could predict in both cases the model could differentiate the 
categories from one category from the rest of the four category using one versus first strategy quite well and then you can see here the accuracy comparison of algorithms using both uh, vectorizers you can see here as game and logistic regression got 88 percent of accuracy and it's the highest using bag of and vectorizer among the five super best classifiers and you can see here the accuracy comparison of algorithms are using tfid vectorizers and here you can see 87 is the highest which is got by svm algorithm so the model built by svm got 87 percent of accuracy accurately classified the data and uh, it's the highest using tfid vectorizer and then you can see here the comparison of accuracy between our proposed system and some existing systems so based on the model we can uh, we have shown here some things you can see here our model our work and other works and you can see here our uh, model sbm m multi-human abs logistic regression decision tree random forest these five models could get uh, good accuracies rather than the existing works you can see here if i explain 83.31 percent 82.41 77.97% and 84% uh, some previous works which used uh, SEM models you can see that uh, their accuracy is highest 84 and our accuracy highest is 88 using backward vectorizer and TFID vectorizer it is 87% so our model could get and we can explain the rest of the four models in the same way our model could get good accuracies uh, using customer review data set and we, we think that our model could predict well on other uh, review data set. Conclusion and feature work. We introduced a system to do opinion mining by categorizing the unstructured customer tweet reviews into five opinion categories. Our system will help business or corporate houses to understand the customer tweet reviews more perfectly and serve them better. We are planning to build a tool using our proper system. Existing systems that exist right now are domain specific and language specific that means the data set which works on one domain quite well that doesn't work quite well in other data set so and also there are language diversity in this social media domain also so future work includes developing a system to categorize opinion that works well when applied to uh, any data in spite of domain here are some of the references that uh, we use thank you so much for listening to me that's all for today. Allah Hafiz.